The following is a letter from a person who, after seeing the video titled Jorge Clavellina Exposed by William Burke, and then seeing my side of the story, realized the truth of the case and how unjust and uncharitable the attacks of the Diamond Brothers and William Burke really are. I encourage everyone to see both my account as well as the propaganda piece by William, The Hospitals Are Empty, Burke. And if you do so honestly, I am confident that you will arrive at the same conclusion as this person did. The Diamond Brothers also committed the mortal sin of detraction, and they should not be trusted by any soul. Do not ever confide in them any secrets. They will betray you if they find out that you disagree with them on anything. This letter is dated July 8th, 2020. Hi Jorge. I just wanted to say that I'm sorry for the way that the Diamond Brothers have treated you. I just watched the Jorge Clavellina exposed video, and I don't see how they can seriously say it wasn't detraction because it was for the good of public justice. Also, it is very telling how they want to monopolize the truth. If they really cared about the faith, I would think that they would want it espoused in as many places as possible and not worry about who's getting donations, especially for someone who lives in Mexico. I make $11 an hour here in the US, and sometimes I feel, as for myself, I couldn't even imagine life over there. If you could only make four dollars a day at work, why would you get a job when you can support your family better by making Catholic videos? It truly bothered me how condescending they speak to you about how you take care of your family. That crosses the line. I've had a bad feeling about them for some time now, mostly how they debated with people and how they treated people, getting angry instead of having patience. I've seen many Diamond supporters emulate this behavior in internet forums too. I guess monkey see, monkey do. My wife and I have wanted to be Catholic, but are a bit nervous about our first confessions as adults. I've called them, but they didn't answer, and since then, I've been afraid to call because I thought they might be unkind to me and my wife. We are already extremely nervous. I was just wondering if you had any advice for a first-time confession. How specific do I get with each sin? Is there a list I can look to? Thanks in advance. And this is my response. Thank you for your kindness. I feel very sorry for them, especially since they think they can get away with this in the sight of God, but they are sorely mistaken. They are, sadly, on the road to hell. Yeah, the video by William Burke was a total propaganda piece. It not only distorted crucial facts, but omitted gigantic pieces of context. And they left out the fact that they were the cause of my economic problems, just from the point of view of causality sometimes. But they are clueless and cruel, rash judges. I am glad God is above them. They will be severely punished for this. Also, incredibly, they like to portray themselves as victims, as if I just woke up one day with the idea of attacking them out of nowhere, when that is a blatant lie. They, and William Burke, oh the irony, condemned me over the COVID-19 topic way before I was attacking them. I was just presenting facts and data that proved COVID-19 was a real disease. They got so annoyed, they started to attack me in public over it, and they condemned me unjustly for that reason. William Burke, Chris White, Samuel, maybe a dozen more traditional Catholics did this, and the sock puppet account of Brother Peter, also at Catholic True, and now they want to paint the official story as me, out of nowhere, just starting to attack them. These guys are shameless liars and propagandists. Also, it's very telling how they want to monopolize the truth. If they really cared about the faith, I would think that they would want it espoused in as many places as possible, and not worry about who's getting donations. That's exactly what I thought, especially since third parties speaking praises about you is more powerful than you praising yourself. That's even in the Bible. If I bear witness of myself, my witness is not true. There is another that bears witness of me, and I know that the witness which he witnesses of me is true. You sent to John, and he gave testimony to the truth. But I receive not testimony from man. But I say these things, that you may be saved. Gospel of John, chapter 5. But no, they love to praise themselves on the e-exchanges and perceive wrongly every other outlet, even submissive ones which praise them as a threat. They are evil, but on this probably they are guided by their misunderstanding of prophecy, since they believe they should be the last organization standing. So they boycott everything around them, so that the prophecy is falsely fulfilled, at least in their head, which is obviously wrong and childish. Prophecies are fulfilled despite the natural course of action, not due to a human strategy to make them fit. A similar situation happened with the priest who converted to traditional traditional Catholicism. It truly bothered me how condescending they speak to you about how you take care of your family. That crosses the line. I agree with you, but from a 10,000 foot point of view, it is a good indicator. When people mistreat you in an unjust way, it is a penance and God will give you extra graces, which is amazing. Getting angry instead of having patience. I've seen many Diamond supporters emulate this behavior in internet forums too. I guess monkey see, monkey do. This is absolutely the case, and Diamondites, as I was until recently, do this disgraceful behavior without the shadow of remorse, since they not only don't consider this behavior to be bad, but in fact most of them think it is a virtuous way to live, and that they are imitating saints, i.e. the Diamond Brothers. My wife and I have wanted to be Catholic, but are a bit nervous about our first confession as adults. 
I would recommend you stay away from them, but if you have any questions, you can send me an email. I don't know everything, but I can try to help. Also, despite the horrible accusation of William Burke that I want to be the next most holy family monastery, my idea is not to become a person who directs other people as if I am a priest or monk. I am currently searching for traditional Catholic priests and bishops, and so far I have had some good leads. Once I confirm this, I will disclose my findings because laymen have to be helped and guided by shepherds, and that means clerics and especially priests and bishops. I was just wondering if you had any advice for a first-time confession. How specific do I get with each sin? Is there a list I can look to? Thanks in advance. I am sending you this link of a video regarding this subject that we published some years ago. I have made it private since, since I don't want to promote the site of the diamonds, but this new version has omitted that part. This person gave me permission to use this email, but in conclusion, please do not be deceived by the Diamond Brothers. They are ravenous wolves and not charitable at all. And if they don't convert, they will go to hell, just like all the other bad shepherds.